what's up everybody and welcome back so in this video we are going to clamp our camera so i mean we are going to uh, restrict our camera rotation so if i play right now you can see that we can go below the ground and also we can come across the player so we need to do some kind of clamping on our camera's x rotation so to do that i'm going back to my camera script and in here we need two variables for our camera's minimum and maximum rotation so i am going to define two floats here so in here uh, we are going to restrict this variable x-axis so we are going to say x-axis is going to be equal to mathf dot clamp it takes three arguments one of them is float value the value you want to restrict so we want to restrict the x-axis so we are going to put that here and then the minimum and maximum bounds so now let's find the value for our rotation minimum and rotation maximum so to find that we let's go back to editor for the x let's check it out so we want to go like that so 80 and in here we go to like 40 so minus 40 to 80 so let's uh, remove the public here so the minimum is going to be minus 40 and the maximum is going to be the 80 now let's quickly test it out so you can see that now we can go and in so we need to fix that and also if you see in the my camera script <coughs> the target is our player so we have dragged our player and this is the target but instead what we want to do because if you select your player you can see the center of the player is his hip bone so instead we want to give some uh, give the reference of players head or neck so that camera camera always stays the character always stays in the focus so uh, you will see what difference does it makes once we do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to inside the player I am going to create an empty game object and let's drag it toward its neck so it should be right here and I'm going to rename it to go to your my camera script and drag this camera target into here so now you can see that it looks much better now you can always change these values based on your setup so i'm going to leave it right there and also we are going to add some smoothness to our rotation because if you see right now the smoothness is not very smooth so let's do that go to our so we are going to smooth the vector 3 which is our target rotation so what i am going to do is i am going to copy that and paste it right there and then we are going to say target rotation is going to be equal to damp and it is going to take four arguments so let's put the current is going to be our target rotation target is going to be new vector 3 x axis and y axis and then we are going to give a reference to vector 3 current velocity so let's put and we are going to give the reference of that which is going to be used by smooth damp angle so we don't have we have nothing to do with that now finally we are going to give it smooth time so let's 
create here float you can change that to increase and decrease the smoothness but let's uh, go with that value and I'm going to put that right there let's save that and go back so now you can see the camera is much more smoother so you can change the value of smoothing so if you can make it public and if I let's say if I make it 0 0.9 So you can see it's more smoother so let's go back and change back to 1.2 so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video so if you have any questions please please feel free to ask